I've discovered another thing about adjusting the the amount of uh, play uh, that you have on your spring. When you when you put the motor back on, this belt uh, is tensioned by uh, this set screw here. It's held in place by these guys, these three screws, but the tension on it is set by this guy, and there's another one underneath here. Um, I didn't turn that one, so I just left it alone, and then I tried to mount the motor as, as, uh, so that I had just a little bit of tension there, but it's still springy, um, because I found out um, I kind of over-tightened this whenever I put it together, and it uh, kept the mount from moving at all. So, or kept the uh, spring action from working at all. So I put it to where it's flush, and this is this is tight, uh, but without being over cranked. And now I, it's a little bit hard to tell, but um, see if I can wiggle it here a little bit. Wiggle it, all right. So there is, I don't know if you can see that, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe because I'm so shaky. I'm just gonna have to describe it. There's a little bit of of wiggle ability there, but you can feel it being pushed back into place by the spring. If I if I try and zoom in here on the worm and wiggle it, it's hard to it's hard to tell. But there's just a little bit, but that puts tension back on it. If you um, let's see if I can demonstrate too much wiggle wiggling if I really loosen that one uh, like a quarter turn you can really see that now I, or I can see it anyway it uh, it may not be coming through on the video as much but it's very it's very loose I mean not very it's looser um, if you adjust this uh, this hex right here clockwise see if I can okay there I'm gonna adjust it clockwise in the directions I think it's wrong if I if I adjust it clockwise too much now there's no movement I'm not getting any movement at all um, the to get a little bit of movement I'm having to go in um, see if I can get the get the get the wrench seated in there nice and firm let's see get it get in there little rascal okay there now it's in there so here's how much of a turn I'm giving it let's see here's the end of my wrench I'm gonna give it uh, that much turn right there from from there to there and it makes a, a big difference so now now I've got a little bit of play just enough to, to believe that it'll adjust with the spring tension if I it, again if I crank this down to where it's tight right now it's tight I mean it's finger tight there's no play in it at all there's no spring action if I turn it just that much so you can tell how much by the end of my hex is moving now I'm back to having a little bit of movement just a little I'm gonna give it just a little bit more there uh, that may be too much so it says a sixteenth of a turn and that's what it means it's it's the difference between uh, between that and vertical let's see if I can show that again so if I go completely vertical with the end of this hex there's no there's no wiggle at all if I'm just right there it's even starting to get a little loose so once everything is adjusted that's got enough play in there for me to be able to believe that the spring is acting all right so Granted, I think all this is, is the whole reason why this is happening is it's really hot out here. It is summertime, um, it's 100 degrees, and so inside the dome it gets pretty toasty. Um, I think that as the, the weather gets colder, uh, I'm probably going to have to come in and adjust this again. And I don't really blame Celestron, I think it was all really tight because it was probably adjusted in a 70 degree room. Maybe, you know, maybe it was adjusted at nighttime, I don't know. Um, but now for it being a hundred degrees and it'll be a little bit colder than that I think it's adjusted properly so now there's a little bit of wiggle but not very much so we'll see how that does on the tracking